Alan Sanchez joins us live from Stockton with the details. For a second, I thought you were the mascot. <laughs> Planned it that way. Oh, no, I, I'm not that cool to be a power cat, but I think I'm cool enough to be wearing the pink uh, jersey and the pink uh, athletic gear. So I'm excited to be out here on the court here. I'm here with Coach Bradley. This is this is one of the biggest games of the year, especially because it's not only for uh, for the breast cancer awareness, but you're also talking about this is the seniors' last last game home. Yeah, it's always special to celebrate the seniors and to do so when we get to fight for sure. something a little bit more than just a basketball game. And, and you're talking about a lot of your, the fans out here have been going through that battle and winning that battle, thankfully. Uh, fans, friends, family members, close to close to our family, yeah. uh, individuals on our team, including myself, uh, who've had family members that are survivors, and uh, it's just a special game for us. Uh, we got to talk to your friend over here. Uh, your name again? It's Karen. Karen. Karen, I keep forgetting. But Karen, you uh, twice survivor of breast cancer. Okay breast cancer survivor. Hey, talk about this game. What does it mean to people who have went through something like that? Um, this game actually brings a, more awareness to survivors and those affected with cancer. Not only breast cancer, but cancers in general. And um, the organization that we benefit today is the Hospice of San Joaquin, oh, a local exactly. organization, which I've been a part of now for five years. And um, they provide a wonderful service to those affected with any kind of disease in the community. And um, it's very near and dear to my heart. And so is this basketball team. We're season ticket holders. Yes, and that's what's exciting. So uh, I heard that they needed a little training from uh, the best athlete in San Joaquin County. So I'm willing to take on some of the ladies one-on-one. All right, Coach, I'm going to let you hold this microphone. I'm going to sure. dribble up on some of these girls. i got to teach them a little you something. Start I know. From the top? Okay. Let's go. You can start from the top. First. You got Jordan Cruz right here, Sacramento native. Sophie, Sophie. Sophie. Danish national team. You got it. Oh, look over there. Oh my God. Coach, coach. Defense is my spot, okay? All right, get down on the post. Loretta, where's Loretta? All right, let's see what you got. Feed her, feed her. <laughs> yeah, I see. Okay, that was better. Stay on her. Okay, okay. Callie, Callie, Callie on the way. Right. You got to defend her out there. <laughs> oh, you got to stop. Oh. <laughs> Go ahead, so. <laughs> just gonna just push him down. <laughs> oh well, oh well. Coach, why don't you keep this? Uh, yeah, I'll stick with this one. Yeah, Best athlete in San Joaquin County. Uh, <laughs> um, Give it up for the lady. Yay! That was embarrassing for me. Pacific Tigers, there you go. Thanks, everybody. A Sacramento-based band is making waves in the music scene for their sound. Brotherly Mud is back on the Good Day stage for another performance.